puppeteering the suit for the motion capture. It's an ordeal for my calf muscles alone, let alone, you know, just the, the whole, whole body just to kind of manipulate it. And then when it came to his face, we used a technology which allowed us not to have to put a big rig of cameras around him, as often happens in a CG performance. He was just himself, so that Emma could play off of him. You think you could be happy here? Can anybody be happy if they aren't free? But then at night, he would have to go into this rig, and he would sit there and recreate his performance. I am not a beast. This is a separate facial capture, which is a whole other challenge, so you have to kind of think yourself back into the scenes that you shot maybe one or two weeks ago um, without moving your body, you know, just moving your face, do, do the scenes, whether they have lines in or not. So he gets his face sprayed, which means every single muscle is captured, every pore, and that's why I think so much of Dan's performance comes through, because every twitch is captured. It would give me great pleasure if you would join me for dinner. I really stood in awe of Dan. Not only did he conquer the technology, but he had fun with it. He decided that this was a challenge. There have been a lot of great CG performances, but this was a romantic hero, someone who was at the emotional center of the movie. I always said we could get everything else in this movie right, but if we didn't get a beast that people believed in, then it wouldn't work.